C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. In the small room, there was a small single bed, a single wardrobe, and a desk placed against the wall near the foot of the single BED.AT. This moment, a woman in a Coraline pajamas was sitting at the desk. Due to the light, it was impossible to see her facial features clearly. One could only see a pair of large intelligent eyes flashing behind a pair of black. Rimmed glasses. Su Tong's eyes stared unblinkingly at the computer screen, his ten fingers quickly flipping across the keyboard. His speed was so fast that only the afterimages of his fingers could be seen. After a long while, Su Wen's ten fingers finally stopped moving. She removed her slender and delicate right hand from the keyboard, placed it on the mouse, and saved the script she had just written. After finishing all this, she leaned heavily against the back of the chair feeling that her tense nerves could finally relax a little. When the script was finished, all she needed to do was to correct it again, to correct the sentence, and to modify the word errors to submit the script, she raised her hands and stretched lazily. However, before she could loosen up all the bones in her body, she heard a familiar voice coming from the door. Sis, why did you make Dad angry again? Dad will show his face the moment I get back. Su Huan Huan's face was painted with delicate makeup. She was actually wearing only a yellow woolen dress on such a cold day. Currently, she was swaying gracefully as she walked towards Nikki. Nikki looked at her sister, who was only two years younger than her, with a face full of admiration. Huan Huan, the weather forecast says that the temperature is only 5 degrees today. Aren't you cold like this? Su Huan Huan looked around but still couldn't find a chair for her to sit on. Helplessly, she sat down on Su Wen's bed and glanced at Su Wen's bloated, bare dot like pajamas. Sis, can I ask you to dress up for me? She's clearly only 30 years old, but she's always dressed like a 50 year old woman. Tell me, with your current condition, can you find a partner to marry to? Su Huan Huan saw that Su Tong did not seem to take her words to heart so she just stretched out her finger and pushed Su Tong's head. My good sister, please listen to your sister's advice. No matter how successful a woman's career is, without a family, husband, and children, you will be crippled for the rest of your life. Besides, you write novels at home every day, do you know what those people in the village say about you? They say you are a jobless person. I don't care if your mouth is on someone else. Besides, I know that that isn't true. Although my income isn't much, it is still a lot more than the average office worker. I, what about you? What's the use of earning so much? Let me ask you, after so many years, do you have a room? Do you have a car? Do you have any savings? Su Qin Gru was unable to resist Su Huan Huan's questions. It's not like you don't know. When big brother and little sister got married, dad and I borrowed the money to decorate the house and set up a banquet. Dad said that he would return it to me when he had more money. It would be the same if I bought a car then. Return. Su Huan Huan looked at the door and saw that it was shut properly. She then lowered her voice and said, father's words are so pleasant to hear. It's strange that he'll return it to you. Dad doesn't have a job right now so what money do you want him to give you? This money is for Big Bro's marriage. Even if Dad doesn't return it, Big Bro will definitely pay a portion of it. Ha! My foolish sister, do you think you're stupid or just pretending? Do you really think that our eldest sister? In dot law would let her brother pay such a price just because she has such an impenetrable personality. Hearing this, Nikki was truly dumbfounded. Wasn't it perfectly justified for him to repay the money he had borrowed? We are all in the same family, there shouldn't be any need to go back on our words, right? Are you thinking that if dad and big bro don't return the money and you live at home anyways and don't have much money to spend, you can just slowly earn your own money? Warm nodded slowly. She knew that her little sister's eyes were always sharp, so she didn't think about hiding her thoughts that Su Huan Huan leaned back against the bed and found a comfortable position. Sis, do you remember what Sis said at dinner the night before yesterday? 
Nikki carefully recalled, but her mind was completely blank. At that time, she was still planning her novel, so she really didn't notice what everyone said at the dining table. Su Huan Huan smirked, I knew it. When you did not react, I thought you might not have heard me at all. Stop trying to be suspenseful. What did Sister Dotin Dot Law say? Sister Dotin Dot Law said that this woman is going to be born in June next year. Our family won't be able to live in this house, and our niece, Xiao Lan, is also going to primary school. She has to have her own room no matter what, otherwise it will affect her studies. Do you understand the meaning behind this? Warmth was just a little thick. Skinned and not an idiot. In addition, he had written quite a few palace novels in the past few years, so how could he not understand the meaning behind these words? Sister Dutton Dot Law really said that. Su Huan Huan raised her eyebrows, how could I lie to you? What's the benefit of lying to you? Su Huan Huan adjusted her tone as she noticed that Su Qingro's expression was not good, and advised him sincerely and sincerely. Sis, you've always said that it's not right for me to only rely on men, that it would be better to rely on myself. But look, now that my husband has succeeded in his business, as long as I bring good children home, I don't have to do anything else. I can buy whatever I want, but compared to you, isn't life much better? Sister, please believe me. The biggest career a woman has in her life is to find a good man to marry. Just change the focus of your life, Su Huan Huan reached out her hand to grab Su He's hand and pulled him closer to her. Sister, please believe me. The biggest career a woman has in her life is to find a good man to marry, hearing Su Huan Huan's earnest persuasion, moment of confusion appeared in Su Wang Yo's heart. Could it be that her persistence in coming here was all wrong, the confusion only lasted for a moment that Su Qing Ru retracted the hand that was being held by Su Huan Huan. She used the movement of tidying up the desk to avoid Su Huan Huan's line of sight. Huan Huan, everyone has their own way of life. I won't evaluate your life, and you don't have to interfere with my decision. I don't reject marrying, I just want to marry love more than family or money. Sis, how old are you? How could you have such childish thoughts? It's one thing for you to write love novels and deceive those primary school students, but why did you deceive yourself? Love, ha. Huh? In this world, which woman would marry without looking at their family background? Furthermore, if you want to marry into a relationship, you have to take care of yourself. With your dressing, which man would be able to make love to you? Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.